And speaking of automations, which is pretty cool with Wix, we can also just set up automations. So whenever someone sends us a message or whenever someone signs up for our newsletter, we can send them an automated sequence of emails. So we don't have to answer every message individually. So this is pretty cool. So after you purchased your professional email address, we can then set up our first automation. You can find the automation here down in the dashboard or inside the editor, you can directly say, okay if someone then signs up for our newsletter here you can go on form settings and give it a proper name newsletter on box on home page and then you have this automation tab here and here we can say okay now I want to send an automation to the person signing up to my newsletter and then you will directly land inside the automation manager of Wix and here you can select okay when someone submits a form a specific one the one on our homepage, the newsletter box. And when someone puts in his or her email in there, then they will get an email. And you can manage the email here. So here you can just click on edit and then you can change the design and look and feel of the email and just click add. Here we quickly need to verify our email address. So I will just do that. They will send me a code to my email address. I will just take the code and put it back in, confirm. And now whenever someone receives an email from me and answers my email, it will directly be sent to my professional email. Click save. And now I can go ahead and edit the styling and the design of this email. And here, when you build your website with Wix, you're pretty much good to go with editing this email template because it's simply a drag and drop builder as the website builder. For example, here you can upload your logo or you can just delete that. Here you have a headline and just change that. You have every styling option down here, italic, underline, change the color, you can link it up. But my take on emails, you do want to make it as less professional as possible because this looks like a marketing email from an online store for, I don't know, clothes. And people are used to just to delete them, right? So you get this kind of email with HTML and CSS styling, and then you directly, mm, I don't like it because it's a promotion, it's an offer, and I don't want to be offered anything at this moment. And therefore, they just directly delete it. So that's why I would recommend if you are not an online store, then you should make different newsletters. For example, just do as little styling as possible possible and just go ahead and say hello and then put in your text and then make it aligned to the left delete the button and get rid of most of these things here you can just hide all the social media stuff here and click apply and we also want to change the background so here you can go on the background and just make it white and this looks more like a normal email you can just go ahead and type in your text etc and you can also just link up stuff so when you want to link back to your website just take the link and then go here on the link icon and then click link to and it will insert the link for us so this looks less like a promotional email when i just go here best julian for example and i can also make it a little bit smaller so it doesn't look too much like an advertisement and so this would feel more natural as i would have really written up this email for the person and then they are more more likely to answer. Of course, this is more like if you are in the coaching zone or if you have just have a normal business website, I would recommend you doing that because then it kind of feels like more natural and people are more tempted to answer you. But if you are an online store, of course, you can stick to these professional templates, put in your images of your product and your discount code because people are kind of used to this and they know it. They would be more suspicious if the email looks something like this, right? But for everyone else, for example, me as an agency i don't want to be as pushy with my advertisement that's why i want to write up some normal emails and without any styling and here you can change the subject line and then you can preview and test it and if you want to add anything else you have everything you need text images button divider logo videos links subscriber and social media icons so go ahead and if you want your social media icons you can just put them in here and link them up but for now just click save and continue and so we've added the template of this email and we will send out the email after someone has submitted his information through the subscriber form and next we can do of course more because 
why would we just send one email? We want to stay in contact with our subscribers and they should run through an email funnel, meaning they sign up once and then they get several emails. And therefore we can just click here on the plus and then we can add a delay. For example, for two days, we don't want to do anything, but after the two days, we want to send them another email. And then after, let's say seven days or let's say six days, we want to send them the next email. And this is how you build your email funnel. So here, of course, you need to then go in and edit the next email and edit the other email and just think of something you want to tell the people about. For example, I am as a website agency, I would tell them about the newest trends in web development or bigger mistakes people do on their website or the best channels to advertise your website. So stuff they would be interested if they signed up for our newsletter. Don't tell them about your last holiday or about any topic which is not related to your business. Just stay on your brand and your message and stick to the topics you know most about. For me, this is websites. So I would tell them like how to get a good domain, how to do website branding, what are the best website tools out there, etc. So people get a lot of extra value from your newsletter because they can always unsubscribe and you don't want them to. So be aware and don't send them messages like every other day, like have some days in between and give them some rest of your emails. But the cool part about emails is once they are on your email list, you can always contact them. This is the biggest advantage of email because if you're doing paid advertisement, you always need to pay per impression. So to reach out to your followers, you need to pay again and pay again. But once they're on your subscriber list, you can just contact them in two years and three years and four years and you don't have to pay extra money for that. That's why subscriber lists are so important. And that's why a lot of people do like a lead magnet. For example, they give out an ebook or free consultation or something like that in order to get the emails because it's so valuable for a business to have like a proper email list you can always reach out to when you have a new product or a new service to offer because people are more likely to buy again from you than someone who doesn't know your brand at all. So this is pretty cool. You can also just add a condition. So we had the time delay, but the condition would be depending on, for example, where they put in the form. Did they subscribe on the homepage or on the lead magnet? Or when did they submit? Did they do it on the weekends or did they do it during the week? And depending on the condition, they will either get this email here. So when you add an email, they will either get this email or if they don't met the condition, they will get this email. So you can really get creative. You see, this looks like a professional email tool. And this is what I like about Wix. What I told you in the beginning, Wix is really an all-in-one tool. So you don't have to get a second email tool like MailChimp or GetResponse. You can do it everything in Wix. There's no limit to it. You can just go on and go on and go on and send emails the entire year to your email list until they buy from you. And then you can just click activate. And once someone signs up for your newsletter, this automation will be triggered and they will get an email after one day, after two days, after six days, etc, etc, whatever you put in here. So this is pretty cool that they have this installed, these automations, and you can just set them up here. Just click on automations and they have some templates for you. So for example, for online stores, when they purchase something, you can just trigger them again to pay them again. Or when you send them an invoice, send them a reminder after like two days to pay the invoice. Voice, so you don't have to do this manually. So just browse through and here are all the automations you might need for your business. And some are also in pre-installed and you can activate them or deactivate them here. And this is pretty nice. And automations means that you mostly do more than one email, but you can also do marketing emails. So here under marketing, you can go under email. And this is pretty much the same. But for example, if you have a newsletter for January for the beginning of the year, you can just call it January newsletter and then just do a promotion or some information about your business, what it's going to be in the next year, some yeah yearly kickoff or something, just get creative and you can just type in your content here and then you can click next. 
And then you can choose who are you sending this email to and you can make a target group or just say all contacts. So target group means you can have a segment so you can add contacts to one segment or you can label your contacts, for example, new clients last year or existing clients and then they will get this email promotion and then you can just, for example, I will just choose all contacts but here I said you can select your target group and then click next and then you get a preview and what's the subject line? Where is it coming from? For example, replies will be directly guided to my email contact at julianweber.com. And then I can also send a test email. And once you're satisfied with everything, then you can go ahead and click on send now. And this is more like a one-off email campaign. So for newsletters, for example, for holidays or for Black Friday, for Halloween, for Christmas, for New Year's, for Eastern. And these kind of emails are used to promote your business in a one-off fashion. So, for example, now having a Black Friday deal, then I can just push out the coupon code to all of my subscribers on my list. And the other thing we've seen before, like the automations, is more like you think about your ideal visitors and whenever they sign up through your newsletter or they contact you somewhere here how do you want to stay in touch with them what do you want to send them on a regular basis and what is the email funnel they should go through in your automation so now this is pretty cool we've learned how to connect your form how to link up your phone number your email address and your social media icons how to install the wix chat app and what happens when they text you here that you can directly answer then in your inbox so you will find all your messages here and you will also get the same messages inside gmail and you can also answer them within gmail or you can use the wix inbox to answer all your messages and we've learned how to set up automations especially useful when someone signs up for your newsletter that they will get a series of emails informing them about your business about your expertise and really warming up the traffic which lands on your site so at some point they will be ready to purchase from you and that's why you build out email funnels and we also learned to kick off one off email campaigns for promotional days such as happy new years christmas or black friday deals and how to select the senders and how to segment them you can do everything here this is pretty much what you can do with wix communications and you can also extend the chat window to whatsapp chat and also stay connected with people on instagram whatsapp and facebook chat via wix so i think this is pretty sufficient and pretty cool definitely not something you see in every website builder out there and i really like that about wix 